A ceasefire is in place in East Ukraine. The agreement has been signed by representatives of the self-proclaimed Eastern Ukrainian republics and the country's president. Artis Polislia is one of the few foreign correspondents still in Eastern Ukraine and gave us this update. The ceasefire agreement was signed between representatives of the Lugansk and Donetsk Republic and the Kiev authorities. It has been welcomed from around the world. And here where I am in Donetsk city, it certainly seems as if it's holding. There hasn't been any kind of artillery firing or gunfire. But of course, it's difficult to say right now what is the situation in other parts of the country. It was a 12-point plan. Many of these items coincided with the seven-point plan that the Russian president Vladimir Putin put forward two days ago. Now, it does follow a telephone conversation earlier in the week between Presidents Putin and Poroshenko. Both leaders at that stage agreed that they were on the same page in wanting a ceasefire to come about and also in terms of how they saw it happening. Now, the Ukrainian president has called on both his foreign ministry and the Organization for Security and Cooperation of Europe to implement the ceasefire, and he says that he will do everything possible and impossible to make sure it happens. We certainly are also hearing from anti-government fighters that that they are laying down their weapons, but that if Kiev does anything to break the truce, then they will be forced to take up arms again. Here are the main points of what the two sides agreed upon. First is the immediate secession of fire. Now, they've also said all heavy machinery will now be pulled back from the front lines. And an exchange of uh, all detainees, without exception, is expected to begin shortly. And last but not least, humanitarian aid to the devastated regions has been agreed upon.